Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Rayquaza from Pokemon. So I'm going to start with the eye. So I'm going to have the character sort of facing sideways. So I start at the top of the eye. From the left, I'm going to come down to the front of the eye, to the right. From here, let's draw the pupil. So the pupil is going to be tucked underneath this brow. So we'll show half of the pupil, so a half circle. And then I'm just going to draw a little black dot in the center of that. Let's go up to about here, about a little bit less than halfway, and curve around that eye, like so. And then in here, I'm just going to color this all in black. Now that we have that, we can start to build around the eye. So from this point, I'm just going to curve up and just flip up a little curve for the brow, sort of like a frown line. Let's move down to the mouth. So I'm going to have the mouth opened like this. So starting back here, I'm just going to curve around the eye and it kind of gets out wider as I go to the front. From this point, I'm going to reverse curve it up. And then from this point, I'm going to come down towards the front edge of the beak. From this point, we're just going to do the bottom part of the mouth. So the inner part, I'm going to curve down. And then from this point, I'm going to curve towards the front. And then from this point, I'm just going to follow that same contour as this side on the back side of the mouth. So going backwards. From here, I could draw some teeth. So let's draw a couple points on the inside and then the same on the outer side. And then up here, I'm just going to draw one fan coming down to the front. Okay, now that we have that, we can start getting into the, so the, the I guess they're called antennas that stick out of the head. So from here, I want to work my way all the way to the back of an antenna. So I'm going to have these kind of prongs sort of sticking back. So I'm going to actually go about probably this long. So I'm going to draw from here and I'm going to try to make it towards this point, but I'm not going to connect it. Okay, so right about here, I'm going to do a nice gradual curve and just kind of stop right about there. From this point, I'm going to do a straight angle down. Now this is going to curve around the jaw, because there's another sort of an antenna that comes up this way. So right about here, I want to try to make my way in towards the eye, and then do a sharp turn down towards the bottom antenna. From here, I'm going to do a straight angled line across. Now this is going to get joined up to the bottom part of this jaw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, and then just kind of curve around towards the mouth, and then just kind of follow the outer edge of the mouth all the way around and then this back side is going to get tucked in behind those teeth and kind of get tucked in behind the top edge of the mouth. All right, from here let's draw the top of the head. So I'm going to have the body coming around this way. So the back of the body is going to basically evolve into the front or the top part of this head. So right about here I'm just going to curve in. And then from this point this is going to actually make its way to the back to create the back of the antenna. So starting here, let's go up in an angle, a little bit of a curve, and I'm going to curve this thing back towards the back antenna. So this is going to go up in that angle. And then from this point, I'm going to draw an angle line down just like I did here. And this just kind of curves and gets tucked in behind the top of that head. Okay, so there's the head. Let's get into the body. So you see this top part of the head here? It's going to basically create the line for the back of the, uh, the body. So imagining this line going across, continuing on here, it's going to curve around with a nice smooth curve. Now I'm just going to keep building down as I go. So from this point around here, this is where the bottom part of the body will be. So again, I'm just going to curve around. And you want to make sure that you have the same sort of thickness going all the way around the body. And from here, I'm just going to create that break where the, the upper torso is, where the arms are. So here, I'm just going to draw a curve like so. And I'm just going to clean this up so that this body kind of gets tucked in underneath. Next thing I want to do is draw the foreground elements. So the foreground element here is the, is the claw. So let's draw that first. So here I'm going to have a claw that goes into the body. So let's draw one of the claws. So from a point I'm going to draw what looks sort of like a raindrop sort of going that way. About halfway up I'm going to draw a circle that gets tucked in under, underneath that claw. Let's draw another one here. So here, I'm actually going to curve this raindrop. Okay, so it sort of looks like it's sort of curving. From here, I'm going to go halfway and draw a curve. And then here, I'm going to curve and tuck this in behind that claw. 
Let's do the opposite. So right about here, I'll draw that same raindrop that's kind of curved. Over here, I'm just going to curve a line in. Then from here, I'm going to curve in towards that claw. Okay, now here, I just want to draw almost like, um, almost like a W shape. So from here, I'll go up towards the center of the claw, then curve out the other way. Now let's draw the forearm of this arm, of this hand. So from here, I'm going to draw a line straight. This side, I'll draw a straight line as well. And then we're just going to ground out and connect those two points. Now the arm is going to go this way. So let's draw one line going towards the body. And right about here, I'll draw another line. And then we're going to round out and connect those two lines. So now let's draw the, the joint, the shoulder joint. So right about here, I'm going to draw a big circle that gets tucked in behind that arm. Okay, so we've got the arm. Let's draw the body. Let's continue drawing the body. So the body's going to come down this way. So if I imagine this line coming down, I want to give it a little bit of thickness so it's going to poke out a little bit. So from here, I'm going to go behind that arm, behind that shoulder, and curve. Here, I'm going to curve in the same direction. So this is going back the other way, like an S. So again, I want to, making sure that I get the same width, thickness across this body. From here, I'm going to connect to the other side with a curve. And from here, I'm just going to step in with two short lines. And then I'm going to connect those two lines with a curve. Okay, now from here, now I'm going to assume that this is the back, and then this is the front. So from here, like an S, I'm going to come around and go back behind it. So here, I'm going to start, and I'm now curving in the opposite direction, stopping right about here. Because this is where the second break is going to be. Again, okay, going up to the top here, I'm going to follow that same curve and making sure that it's roughly the same thickness as they're going. You can start to slowly get a little bit thinner as we come down towards the edge of the tail. So here I'm going to round this out like I did on the top. Let's do a couple straight lines going out. Okay, angling outwards. And then connecting those two lines with a curve. Now again, like continuing this on, I'm going to wrap this around so I'm going to go upwards now. The bottom and the top, and then connecting these two points with a curve. Now here, this little section has some fins, so like three fins. Let's go up to about here and draw a straight line going back, and here I'll draw a straight line going back, and then connecting those two points with a straight line. Down here, I'm going to do the same thing, so I'll draw a straight angled line on both sides, front and back, and then coming back. And then in the middle here, I'm just going to simplify this. I'm going to go straight with one line, and then right beside it, I'll draw another line, and then connecting it with a, with a straight line. Now let's continue this body going back behind. So the tail's going to wrap around behind this body. So right about here, I'm going to start to curve back. Right about there. On this side, I'm going to curve. Again, making sure that it's slowly starting to get a little bit tapered, then rounding this off again. And then like I did here, I'm going to draw two straight lines angled out and then connecting them with a curved line. And then now you can see this curve is starting to go back, so I'll go up here and draw a line in that same curve, the top and the bottom. And I'll round that out and connect those two points. Now like I did here, I'm going to have to flip this in the opposite direction. So here, I'll draw an angle line going that way, an angle line going that way, and then connecting them with a straight line. Same thing here. Two lines going back and connected with a straight line. In the middle, I'm going to draw one line and then a second line beside it and then connecting it with a straight line. Now the final step is a tail. So let's go down a little bit here and now I'm going to sort of imagine this curve going down past this tail or past the body behind around to a point. I want to do the same thing at the bottom. So stepping up a little bit now I'm starting to get a little bit thinner as we get to the tip and just basically join up, clean that up there. At the end here, I'm just going to go up to about here. I'm just going to draw a curve just to kind of give it a separation. Now here, I'm going to draw the fin. So I'm doing two angled lines from roughly about there and then tucking these in to the tail. Okay, now let's get into a little bit of detail. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to draw the backhand here. So like I did here, I'm going to draw the same sort of thing. So center, I'll draw that raindrop pointing that way. And here, I'm going to draw a curve. And here, I'm going to curve around 
and down. Let's do the same thing here. So let's draw a curve, raindrop like so. Halfway, I'm just going to curve up. And then on the other side, I'm going to curve around and basically join up with that end there. Let's draw one more cloth. So a curved raindrop, curve there. And then on the opposite side, I'm just going to tuck this in behind that finger in the middle. And then again, drawing sort of like those two humps. Now, like I did with the forearm here, I'm just going to draw two straight lines coming out of the hand and rounding it off with a straight line, or curved line, sorry. And from this way, I'm going to draw that arm going into the body behind, like so. Okay, so we got the hands. Let's draw a little bit of detail. Uh, let's start with this body part. So here, he's sort of got like this Y. So right about here, I'm going to draw a line down this way, and I'm just going to thicken that up so it's quite thick. Then this is going to go right into that shoulder joint. So I'm going to draw a black line and then just kind of thicken that up. And I'm going to draw the opposite way going behind the body. So this gets tucked in going towards the other side. From here, let's draw some detail along the body here. So I'm going to imagine a curve. Okay, so let's draw the curve first. So from right about here, I'm going to curve around the body like that. And then I'm going to draw another line, the same curve, but leaving a gap in the middle. And from this point, I'm just going to do a straight line up the back, like so. Okay, and on top of his head, I know he's got this circle, so I'm going to draw from here, I'm going to curve around to that front, and then I want to keep maintain that same thickness, so I'm going to draw that same line curving around the top, and on the back here, I'll go in the opposite direction for two curves. Okay, now let's get into the body detail. So he's got these two rings that sort of sit this way. So let's imagine this imaginary line going across the middle of that body there. So I'm going to start here, curve around. Now I'm going to draw one half of that ring going around towards the center point, then going along that line, and then again I'm going to draw another ring, and then this gets tucked in behind there. Let's draw the opposite side. So here I'm going to Make it twice as thick, leaving a gap in the middle, going to the back, and continuing right about here, following that same line, and going back, and right about here I'll come back towards that ring, and then go back like so. Now all I want to do is take this out, outer ring, and then make it basically a little bit smaller. So we draw sort of like an oval shape inside. Right. Let's do that again on the back. So what we want to do is maintain that same line spacing all the way through. So the distance between these two lines to here, here, and here is pretty much the same. Let's continue on. So we got two more rings to go here. So right about here, I'm going to draw a curve. Again, imagine this line that goes across here. Draw one ring, straight line to the second ring, and a straight line getting tucked in there. And going again, so double thickness going around, kind of looks like a set of glasses, <laughs> and then again drawing the inner circle for each of these rings, like so, and if you want you can draw some fire, you can draw some, you know, those little things that kind of swoop out of the body, but that's essentially it, there we have it, there is Rayquaza from Pokemon, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, please give us a like, Share this with your friends and make sure you check out our Pokemon playlist. We have a ton of characters in there and we'll be adding more as we go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.